In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use a whiteboard for online live classes using Google Meet. This handy tool can enhance your teaching experience by making your virtual lessons more interactive and engaging. Let's dive into this step-by-step -step guide to help you leverage this feature effortlessly. First things first, to get started, you need to access Google Meet. You can do this by typing meet.google.com into your browser or by opening the Google Meet app on your device. Both methods will take you to the Google Meet interface where you can join or set up meetings as required. If you haven't used Google Meet before, ensure you're logged into your Google account so everything moves smoothly. Once you're on Google Meet, the next step is to join a meeting. This could be a class you're teaching or any scheduled meeting you're attending. Joining a meeting is intuitive. Simply click on the scheduled meeting or enter the meeting code if need be and you'll find yourself connected with others. Now that you're inside the Google Meet, direct your attention to the bottom of the screen where you'll find the activities icon. This looks either like three dots or shapes depending on your browser or app version. By clicking on this icon, you're opening up several utilities that can add more depth to your meetings. Among the options that pop up, you'll want to select Collaborative Whiteboard. This feature is a game changer for online classes as it allows you to sketch, write notes and explain concepts visually while interacting in real time with participants. After picking Collaborative Whiteboard, your next move is to click on Start Whiteboard. This action will initiate a fresh whiteboard session that's ready for your input. It's essentially a blank slate where you can start drawing, writing or brainstorming ideas together. This platform offers an excellent space to visualize certain topics, break down complex ideas, or even let students engage directly with the lesson. Once the collaborative whiteboard is open, you have the option to share access with your students or meeting participants. This is done by simply sharing the link or ensuring they have permission to edit. Sharing access is fundamental for collaborative work, allowing everyone to contribute, annotate and learn together more dynamically. And there you have it, we've covered the entire process of using a whiteboard for online live classes in Google Meet. By following these steps, you can create a more interactive classroom environment that benefits both you and your students. Using a whiteboard can greatly enhance online learning by making content more tangible and accessible. So go ahead, try these steps in your next lesson and watch your classes become more engaging.